All right, guys. Um, there is no such thing as wrong unless you don't choose to learn from it. The reason I want to bring this out is from YouTube. A lot of people worry about what other people say and whatever. I tell you now, it doesn't matter. A lot of these people would never get on the the camera side and do what you you're doing or what I'm doing now, and they're very critical on other people because they they think it's makes them happy or whatever. I have no idea, and it doesn't really matter at all. But what does matter is you learn from everything. Everything in life is a learning experience. The richest people I know have had some catastrophic failures over the years. Um, I remember a restaurant up in uh, Malvern where it burned to the ground about three three years after the because uh, that that was it the house burned to the ground then there was a problem in the restaurant because they haven't lived in the restaurant because they'd lost everything on the house because the the house was subsidising the restaurant and you know for the mortgage and everything else now a complete nightmare but the point being is they learn from these experiences they turn around and go right well. That was a bad idea, but how are we going to fix this? How are we going to put this right? How are we going to make sure the rest of success, even though we're being penalized because a house burned to the ground, the mortgage is sort of tidy with the business, and cash flow was severely damaged. What did they learn? Don't mortgage or double mortgage the house to support a business. One of the things I always say in business, myself, is never invest what you can't afford to lose. And in that sense, um, I would never invest anything that actually could affect my family. Not saying everybody else should or shouldn't do that, but that's my personal view on it. But at the same time, they learn from their experiences. And the, the experiences may be quite hard sometimes, but... The other side of this being is you refuse to try anything new because there might be risk, there might be something that may go wrong, there may be something that could damage your current life rather than seeing that it's an opportunity, even if it's a small opportunity. Because I remember when my um, father and brother were doing the um, antique stuff, because they started quite small. Um, and they did quite well selling the porcelain and things like car boots and small markets. And then they bought some proper porcelain, the good stuff. Because uh, they sold the crap and then bought the expensive stuff. Um, so you're saying something like that would actually be wrong if people actually could connect that to a business. <laughs> um, but the, the point being is, it's a learning curve. You try it, you see how you get on. You, you do these experimental things. There's, before I used to take socks into work, I used to buy boxes of socks and um, jeans because in the construction industry, especially with what we were doing which was the timber frame stuff, people would often rip their jeans because they were more jeans, uh, but they would rip them because they would get caught in their nail somewhere or whatever. Um, there's nothing Nothing as uh, beautiful as somebody's butt hanging out the back of their jeans because they've caught it in their nail and it's ripped them, ripped them in half. Um, well, I used to flog them the jeans. The same in the rain. Your feet get wet. I used to flog them the socks. And every construction site, I used to keep a boot, boot on my car full of jeans and socks. And everybody knew, come and see, go and see Matt. Matt's always got socks. He's always got jeans. He's always got something because um, they looked for those opportunities. Now, the return on investment on it may not always be the fastest, but then at the same time, I've also had other things where I would max out my credit card on a Friday, sell it on Saturday and Sunday, and put it back on the credit card by Monday. The idea being is I was using the credit card for free because they basically invested in a business. Um, but they got their money back by Monday, so I never had to pay any interest. You need to understand that if you want to progress on some of this stuff, it's about accepting risk. It's about the fact that it's okay to get things wrong. Because I don't get things right every time. I wish I did. 
today I've got one of my benches down, which is currently sat with, um, I think it's about two and a half thousand dollars sat in it. And if it goes bump, I've lost the lot. Um, but at the same time, I'm not sitting there crying about it because I'd be more concerned about the fact that I didn't try in the first place. Um, so you've got to understand that there's a risk there. You've got to understand that if you don't try, you'll never get there at all. But also accept there is no wrong. If you're trying, you're not doing wrong. If you're doing videos on YouTube and then rubbish, you're not doing wrong. The fact that you turn around and go, oh, my audio is terrible. It's like my audio. Some of these are not very good. But one of the things I've done recently, which you can't see, is I open the window to reduce the echo in the room. Those little things make a little bit difference to the video. Um, but I've also got my, I don't know, my mic will come across without scratching my screen. But um, I'm going to put my mic back on as well. Oh, it's the side come out, the holder. See, so I've got a good mic sat next to me. But right now, I've got to go through and set this thing up because it seems to be a bit of a delay on the, the audio to the videos. So I've got, got to mess around with that yet. Um, also, as it was over earlier, we've seen my lighting rigs and stuff. There's a lot of stuff I've still got to mess around with on this, and with no internet, I'll be honest with you, I haven't really spent that much time on the YouTube stuff because I've had other stuff to be doing. Um, but as soon as this internet sorted, you'll see some changes coming. Um, but the point is, it's a learning experience. You go back to my first videos, they're terrible. But the thing is, they're there for me to recognize how much of a change has happened, but also to turn around and say, you can do this. Look at my first videos to now. And I'd also say, um, like we talked to Asif today, his sales pitch on gadgets is very, very good. And I think he should invest some time in it because quite simply, he's good at it. Um, he knows the products, he has a interest in it, um, he's very keen on it, he, he take, he's right on there, you know, I can see, I can see him selling that stuff easily um, from like Amazon Associates and things like that. And the point being on this is just get on there and do it, just try it. It doesn't matter if some people go, this is crap, and I mean, I get some FU videos quite, every now and again comments and I'm like all of them, when somebody says something like that it just shows me an immaturity level on themselves it doesn't actually turn around and make me feel like I'm victimized or something um, I, I mean a while back I was talking with Kento because one of the things they did on YouTube years ago is they made it so you could actually hear the audio of what people were commenting and people complain I sound stupid <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Listen to your own voice sometimes of what some of these things are saying is turn around and go, oh, it sounds stupid. Well, maybe it's not that it sounds stupid. It's what you've said is stupid. But part of that is recognizing saying something stupid is stupid. Um, but learning from it is the important bit. The, um, I've had, I've had people comment on the on my Alicante channel related to 360 videos going, this is crap, I'm just looking at your hand or whatever. And I and they just go, I just put, it's a 360 video. And then they've come back and gone, you know, because sometimes they put, some people put offensive messages and then realised, yeah, they thought clever, saying something abusive, and now I've just everyone says, you do realise you can move around, and they've gone, oh, now I feel a bit stupid now. Um, but that is part of a learning experience to turn around and say, think before you open the mouth. So, the mouth. Um, the Scottish saying, many a uh, broken nose has been caused by someone's mouth. Um, and that pretty much sums it up sometimes. You know, it's what people say without thinking. But it's all a learning curve. And that's why sometimes, you know, sometimes I'm a bit, what are people saying? And because some people are a bit snappy and then you look at it and think, they just didn't understand it. And that's fine. I'm not, I'm not here to compete with people. 
I don't sit here abusing people and I don't expect people to abuse me back. Um, so when people sit there and complain that they get deleted by a banned blog, it's because you're not welcome if you're using swear, swearing and stuff like that. I don't care what the reason is behind you. I do not swear and I do not expect it back on the channel either. But all this is part of the learning curve because obviously if I turn around and say don't swear on my channel um, in the comments or whatever, you'll sit there and go, okay, you'll delete me for that if I do it. Um, because that's, that's just the way I am. I don't think it's socially acceptable. I think it's becoming too socially acceptable, which is why I quite happily say, no, I don't want it. But it's all part of learning curve. The fact is, that's what my channel finds acceptable. No swearing. Um, but ultimately, if you want to put yourself out there, you want to progress in life, you want to do something different, don't take on board what other people do to complain about you. The most important people are the ones that support you and the other ones that actually turn around and care for you. And the, the reason I say that is sometimes their viewpoint is more about they're worried about you. Um, for example, say you decide to join up in the military and some of them will actually turn around and go, well, I don't think it's right for you. I don't think... What they mean is they're worried about you. They don't want you getting hurt. They don't want you getting something happen to you. Um, but if you can turn around and accept that they actually is more to do with the fact that they are worried then you avoid the arguments of well mind your own business or whatever and just accept the fact that they actually do care but that all comes from a learning curve of starting to read other people um, and I'll leave that at that thanks for watching